Hey what's up fellas, welcome back to another brand new video today, I'll be showing you guys the best FPS settings for Apex Legends in season 12. Again, I hope this video helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end. These fixes are performed on Windows 11 but it will work perfectly fine in Windows 10 as well. Also, study shows that 98% of you guys aren't yet subscribed to the channel so please do me a favor, consider subscribing. And with all this said, let's roll the intro. Alright, let's dive straight in. Alright, so the very first step is creating a restore point and this is very simple. Press your windows key and then type in create a restore point. Now, once you are here, you have to select a local disk which has a windows logo over here and then click on create. Name it whatever you want, I'm gonna be naming it Apex Legends so that I'll know where I have saved my saves. Then click on create. Now this is just a failsafe method to prevent anything going wrong. If by any means your PC crashes, you can always restore to the previous point without making any changes or losing any files. Once the restore point has been made successfully, click on close and then Step number one is graphic settings and this is one of the most important settings. Press your windows key and then type in graphic settings. Now once you are here, click on browse and then go to the download location of your apex legends for me it's under steam library under common and here is apex legends you need to select this r5 apex legends and then click add i have already added over here now click on apex legends and then go to options and then make sure to select high performance from here then click on save and then right below this you have to click on find a setting and then search for windows update now go under windows update section and then check if your windows is up to date. As you guys can see, it shows updates available to install. So you have to click on this install now and then let the updates download and make sure that you have the latest and updated version of windows. Next step, press your windows and R key together and then search for temp. Now make sure that this folder is empty. If you have files in here, just control A and then delete them all. Similarly, press your windows and R key together and then search for percentage temp percentage. As you guys can see, I have a lot of files in here so I'll just press control A and then delete all of them. Now out of all these files, you can't delete some files because they are currently being used by your system. All you have to do is click on OK and let them run. Next is press your windows and R key together and this time type in prefetch. You need to make sure that prefetch is empty. You don't have to keep anything else in prefetch. After you are done with all of the steps, you have to download the Apex Legends FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Just download, extract and open it up. And make sure that you have WinRAR or 7-zip installed on your system. To extract these files, simply right click on the RAR file and then click on open. Now you have to copy this whole folder to your desktop. I have already done it. Now in here you'll find 4 files. The first one is for performance option, second one is for latency, third one is for registry tweaks and the last one is for mouse settings. Open up the first folder and in here you'll find in 2 registry files. The first one disables power throttling, the second one optimizes windows settings. Simply double click and run both of them. Then go to the second folder which says for latency. Double click on timer resolution and then click on maximum and then close it. Nextly click on this registry tweaks and in here you'll find a lot of folders. The first one disables anti-malware service executable. For those of you who don't know what is anti-malware service executable, this is one of the most memory consuming application on your desktop. Alright, so to run these files, simply double click on them and then click on yes. Do this for all the files until you are done with them. Once you are done with the register tweaks, open up the mouse settings and then double click on mouse acceleration. And then once you are in the pointer options, make sure that enhanced pointer precision is turned off. Then click on OK. 
Nextly, I highly recommend you guys to use Exit Lag. Exit Lag is pro's choice to reduce lags and get better ping in the game. Simply download Exit Lag from the link in the description below and then open up the application, register in it and the best part is that it offers us over 250 games to choose from. Simply click on the search menu and then search for Apex Legends. Once you select Apex Legends, it quickly analyzes the routes for best and optimal connection and it shows it right on your face. All you have to do is select the nearest game region for you. For me, it's gonna be AE Dubai. And then choose both of these options down below. As you guys can see, it automatically shows you how much estimated ping you're about to get. Simply click on Apply Rows. And then Apex Legends will be added into your home. Then go to your Tools section. And then over here, go to FPS Boost. And then make sure to click on the first, third, fourth, and last three options. Once you're done with that, you guys can minimize exit lag right into your system tree. Exit lag is free to use for 3 days and after that you need to get the subscription for exit lag. It offers you 3 types of subscriptions. First one is monthly, then they offer you semi-annual and then they offer you quarterly. You guys can sign up whichever suits best for you and for the newcomers, you can use code BEARFOX20 for flat 20% discount on any of these plans. So make sure to choose wisely. After you're done with exit lag, Run your Apex Legends and then perform the in-game settings. Alright, so here are the best Apex Legends in-game settings. All you have to do is go to the settings gear and then go to settings. Then locate your video section and over here for display mode, always play on full screen because full screen mode dedicates your screen to your game so that the apps running in the background won't get much processing power. Full screen is very helpful while gaming. I highly recommend you guys to play on your native aspect ratio. For the resolution, always go for native resolution because it is the best. Now these settings down here are personal preferences so you don't have to see them. Next is the V-Sync and V-Sync does actually matter in Apex Legends. Don't keep it disabled, keep it triple buffered. There are 5 options to choose from but the middle one which is triple buffered, it is the best. For Nvidia Reflex. Keep it to enable plus boost. Then for anti-aliasing, you have to go for none. For texture streaming budget, you guys have to choose it according to your graphics card. If you have a 2GB GPU, you guys can use this one. If you have a 4GB GPU, you guys can use uh, this one. And if you have higher than that, you can use the 6GB VRAM version or the 8GB VRAM version. It's totally depending upon you. I have an 8GB graphics card, so I'm going to be using the insane preset. But if you have a lower end graphics card, you guys can use very low, low or medium according to your setup. Next is texture filtering and I highly recommend you guys to keep it bilinear. For the ambient occlusion quality, make sure to keep it disabled and not anything else. Enabling will give you drastic FPS drops so make sure to keep it disabled then everything should be set to low and disabled and then for the model detail you have to go for medium for effects detail go for medium for impact marks I highly recommend you guys to keep it disabled because you can see the impacts in the game settings as well you don't have to enable another setting for it and for the ragdolls keep it low so just copy all of these settings these are the best most optimal settings for apex legends once you're done with that, click apply and then drop into the game. Alright guys, I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be out with more videos like this, so 